there if you are a Gilmore Girls fan just like I am you must be knowing that colleges like Harvard, Princeton, Yale and a couple of more are known as Ivy League colleges. These are considered to be the most prestigious colleges in the United States of America and in this video I'm going to share a couple of information with you which are going to be extremely helpful in case you want to get into one of these colleges. Now if you are new to my channel I would request you to please kindly subscribe to my channel give this video a like and share it with your friends. By the way I'm extremely sorry about the poor um, light quality in this video. I usually don't make this mistake in my videos but there is power cut in my area and I cannot really help it. I'm so sorry. Anyway the main distinction the main difference that Ivy League colleges have is that they are very selective in nature. In case you want to get into an Ivy League, your SAT scores have to be extremely high. You need to score really high in whatever test you're taking. Let it be GRE, GMAT, LSAT, whatever. It depends on the course that you're applying to. We're not really talking about that in this video. In this video, I'm just going to cover the common points to get you a basic idea about what are Ivy Leagues, how can you apply, what are the requirements and all of that. And if you have any doubts, obviously you're going to have a lot of doubts. Um, if they are simple doubts, then you can obviously Google them. But if you want me to make another like a part two of this video with a couple of your doubts then please mention them in the comments i would love to take them up in my next video by the way there is always this confusion between students students consider cambridge and oxford to also be ivy league but guys this is absolutely wrong cambridge and oxford are very well known very reputed universities in the united kingdom but the Ivy League colleges are only the colleges, the uh, supreme colleges, I would say, of United States of America. So there is a difference. If you are um, willing to apply for Cambridge or Oxford, this video is not really for you. If you want, I'll make another uh, a separate video on that. But in this video, we're just going to talk about the Ivy League. So the selection, uh, you must be wondering like how many people get selected and there, there must be a lot of applicants. So what is the average rate of selection? So let me tell you. And I, I, I have come up with this information after a lot of research. Only 7.6% of the applicants get selected into Ivy Leagues. Yes, you heard me right. So it is much more than just a cutthroat competition, my friend. It is huge. It is humongous. So you literally have to work your ass off if you want to get into the Ivy Leagues. So let me tell you what all documents, what all uh, do you require in order to apply for the Ivy League colleges. You need a bachelor's degree, okay? Anything that is equivalent to US bachelor's degree, okay? Any graduation degree that you have with you, you need to be a graduate to apply for Ivy Leagues, all right? Apart from that, you need to have all the necessary documents of every educational exam that you have taken in your life like the important ones like your 10th mark sheet your 12th mark sheet your semester mark sheets or whatever course you were doing everything your graduation certificate all those documents are very important then you need to take this english proficiency pro, pro, <laughs> proficiency sorry <laughs> english proficiency test called ielts okay your ielts score is going to matter a lot a lot of people take IELTS like three to four times in order to get a good score because the recent one is taken. So prepare well on your IELTS. Uh, I um, actually thought of making a video on IELTS. If you want me to make one, please let me know uh, because I'm always hungry for new ideas from you people. Please post me your ideas. Please post me comments. I wait for them. And also, uh, if you're liking the video till now, please subscribe to my channel and share this with your friends. Okay. Then you need your SATs. That is your standardized test scores, like whatever course you're applying for, like GRE, GMAT, LSAT anything whatever that depends on the course that you want to pursue from that very college generally ivy league since i'm mentioning again and again that their standards are extremely high so what why are their standards high what are they actually looking for in a candidate what they're looking for is a hard-working individual a consistently hard-working individual who is willing who is ready to take up the immense amount of hard work that you need to go through once you enter into an Ivy League. So applying for an Ivy League is definitely hard work, but the main hard work is the actual hard work. Hard work in the true sense is going to begin once you become the member of an Ivy League, a student of an Ivy League. So that is the quality that they are going to demand out of you. 
how are they going to know that how are they going to know that you're hard working you're dedicated you're sincere they will get to know that from your scores from your resume and from your interview so once i, I don't exactly know when the interview happens maine itne in depth mein research nahi ki honestly but i am guessing once your admission letter has been accepted after that they give you an interview call i'm not very sure about it i'm so sorry i'll just do my google on it and i'll get back to you on this okay you need to be very good with your gps course as well make sure whatever course you're pursuing right now medical engineering law journalism whatever it is that you're doing whatever undergraduate undergraduate course you're doing make sure to be at least one of the top 10% of your class yes that is how your standards should be by the way the ivy league which is very pretty looking which is the, which has the most beautiful campus is princeton i will be attaching a couple of pictures here for you to motivate you a little further to study hard to prepare well and to get into one of the high ivy leagues work on your sat scores okay you can improve your sat scores degree by degree by taking a lot of mock tests a lot of mock scores there are a lot of um, counseling such counseling programs and such uh, um what do you call them migration agency which help you in the process they will guide you with your student visa with everything there are so many uh, platforms out there which help you with your ielts score so a lot of you must be having this might be having this doubt i don't know because i had this doubt that what are sats what is really sat so that is basic, basically standardized test score i i feel i have mentioned it in the video already but i would say it again for example you are taking up gmat which is for mba abroad or if you are taking up lsat which is which is for law school so how much you are scoring in that particular exam that is your what your sat score is okay that is your standardized test and in that particular standardized test how much you are scoring that is your sat score you have to improve it okay try improve try taking mock scores do whatever i am mentioning in this video do your own little bit of research and start practicing from today itself please start today okay do not delay do not delay i am very excited to make your dreams come true so you got to be even more excited and determined all right now how to fill in application forms you can fill them online you just have to type how to apply which, whichever college you want to apply for how to apply for harvard how to apply to yale okay just do a little bit of re research if you want me to come up with um topics like that in the future of respective colleges how to apply to this college that college let me know in the comment section i'll come up with those videos for you i'm going to do my research i promise and um, apart from that your report cards do matter mostly of your graduation level of 10th and 12th you just need your board mark sheets but of your college every semester's report card will matter and uh, you need to have a letter of recommendation from somebody from your college or if you're working professional then somebody from your office all right letter of recommendations really play a very very vital role and if you have um somebody of your family who has already been uh, who who has already studied in uh, harvard or yale or princeton or any of the ivy leagues for that matter then that is going to act as a major major positive for you that is going to be one extra bonus point for you okay a brownie point for you that is going to help you a lot and you can get their letter of recommendation as well then obviously uh, after getting done with these the what is the format of the application i'm really sorry i've not really done in depth research on that that will need a little more of time okay whatever your doubts are after watching this video mention in the comment section and i'll definitely come up with further videos on the same topic because i find this topic to be very interesting and i'm pretty sure it's going to motivate a lot of you and it's going to help a lot of you okay uh, apart from that do keep uh, an eye on the deadlines okay different colleges will have different deadlines of the application form as far as uh, my knowledge tells me it i i feel you can apply for the ivy leagues twice a year once in july and the other was other one is in december i guess they accept applications in july and december but i'm really not sure about it i will let you know one last thing extra curriculars matter a lot a lot lot the reason is very simple everybody who is applying for an ivy league college is anyway a good student is anyway a bright student hard working student how are you going to stand out amongst the rest how are you going to make your resume your cv look the best or at least better than the rest okay how are you going to do that you're going to do that if you have something that is going to make you stand out 
something that is going to make you look different and better than the others okay something like that in your cv is very very important okay so a lot of indian students every year apply for ivy leagues but very few get selected i'm not very sure about the reason yet but that is happens the statistics the data tell us so so let us see if we can see an upward trend in the future but for now it hasn't happened yet a lot of people we the, the statistics the data tell us that the number of students who are applying to ivy leagues from india that ratio has seen an upward trend but the selection ratio is still low so that's actually a sad news but uh, what to do that happens and i don't really know, obviously we don't know the reason about uh, uh, for it but um, yeah so that is all that i had on this topic yeah one last thing cornell university has the highest acceptance rate and harvard has the lowest acceptance rate so that is how it is and i really i'm sorry <laughs> i really really enjoyed shooting this video thank you so much for uh, listening to me and i hope this helps you in some sort of way if it did please let me know in the comments please please put down all your doubts all your queries in the comments if i already know about it i will answer it right away or else i'll collect all those doubts and i'll make another i'll create another video for you all right thank you so much bye bye take care